long hair or short hair. Mm -hmm. Apparently this chick was like, you measure like... Good morning, here's the fit. Um, just the pink, um, the jewelry. Let's go. So I woke up late today. Good for me. Um, but that's okay. Um, all my lectures are recorded anyway. it has been to real life in a while. It was like it's always nice to see people enjoying the thing that you worked hard to create. Um, and I think we had good chemistry with the members as well as the exec team. I don't know if I just felt fulfilled because I haven't felt that way in a while because we've been in lockdown and we've had you know events online for a while now but this was kind of like the first time that it felt like an event because all of our events if they were online they would usually be you know study hall events they would mostly be events that were I guess a lot more low maintenance and that's okay because like we're people too we can't just make amazing events all the time especially since we're like working on our own lives and our own university assignments and stuff um, but this one had like a structure, a plan, we had multiple people like onto it, we had like the components were sussed out and it just felt really satisfying which is something that I always look forward to in terms of like organizing events and obviously I got to talk to my friends which is nice. One, it's nearly 2 a.m. I'm struggling so much with this assignment. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I got an extension for it already and I just, it, I'm like, I don't know what to do. And you know, I kind of wanted to, I guess, vent a little bit um, in regards to how stressed out I am. I had a call with a friend today and it felt lonely sitting there and listening to them talk which is I suppose the opposite of what a call with your friend should be doing to you but that's just how I felt unfortunately and I guess I didn't want to keep these negative feelings inside because that might be a contributing factor as to why I'm stressed out over this particular assignment as well. As you can see, I still haven't changed. Um, I'm wearing like jeans 
and like my going out clothes just so that I don't like relax because I feel like if I get too comfortable I will somehow find a way to convince myself that I deserve to go to sleep when really I haven't been working at all. I've been procrastinating so much and it's just been so frustrating to see myself go down this route and but I'm sure a lot of that has to do with also my own like ADHD uh, and it's funny that I mentioned that because I got in touch with a doctor and they're going to hopefully refer me to a ADHD specialist who can give me a official diagnosis and I can maybe get medicated uh, because I really can't go on living like this it's not sustainable and it's stressing me out and it's just one of those things that lockdown brings out in you that you don't realize and yeah I don't know I guess I'm just being stressed out and I don't know who else to talk to and it's hard to like even describe what I'm feeling because I always kind of just attributed it to like ADHD but I'm at a stage where like I feel like I'm second guessing myself and like whether or not I even have ADHD in the first place and that's why I really was impatient to book an appointment with the specialist so that I can kind of like one get hard evidence that I do have it and two get the proper help that I need because it's been such a struggle and I don't even know I don't yeah I'm over this guys I feel like even though I I think lockdown has kind of made me realize that no matter where you go it doesn't matter you still take yourself with you so I have to learn how to be happy with myself so that it doesn't matter whether I'm in lockdown or able to go out and about I'll still be happy because I'm happy with who I am Hello, good evening. I'm about to go to sleep. As you can see, I've changed out of my going out clothes and it is literally uh, closer to 4 a.m. than I would have liked it to be. But before I uh, settle in and I guess tidy up my living area for a bit, I wanted to show you this new thing that I added to my collection. Wow! So I... I have like an acrylic charm collection that I never had a chance to hang up but my sister found a cork board that she did not need anymore so she gave it to me and then I started hanging that up I would have filmed it in my deep cleaning room redecoration vlog but I didn't have it at the time but now I'm really happy because I have it here but I'll show you now isn't that just the cutest thing I love them close up on all of them. We'd love to see it. Okay, I'm going to bed. tonight and I haven't started it yet because I've been too busy being distracted over this first one but yeah no my brain is just being super uncooperative we love to see it I've been making you know what I might as well just show you these these bloody envelopes I'm like making stickers 
man. I'm just, I hate this so much. I can't wait to get ah, prescribed. <laughs> like something to help me focus because this is just not it, chief. But look what I made. Do you think a depressed person could do this? I made um, these envelopes out of whole pages of recycled magazine pages. I followed this template that I found lying around and now I'm going to use them for um, when I eventually start selling stickers at markets, yeah? Um, here are some smaller ones that I made the other night. I think they're quite cute. They're like, see? They're, these are made from like an old pa pages from an old book that I found when the humanities building from university was kicking their professors out so the, the professors had to do a lot of spring cleaning and there was this massive pile of books in one of the common areas it was just like a massive pile of books that I just like dumpster dived in I actually kept a lot of them in my my bookshelf but I haven't read them yet uh, and one of the books that I fished out was this like language book for learning how to speak French that I knew that nobody was going to need anymore so I started repurposing for repurposing it uh, like I've been using it to make stickers and drawing on it whenever I feel like I want to draw obviously collaging and scrapbooking in general but now I'm also making these little like cute envelopes to put in um, the stickers that I will eventually kind of distribute to the masses because we need to keep paper out of the landfills besties we gotta do our part. Anyway. Oh, I made oatmeal. Um, because I was hungry and I wanted to stand up from my seat. But yeah, man, I'm struggling. Struggling, struggling, struggling. I'm in a brain frog. I don't know what to do. I'm losing my goddamn mind. And yeah. We love to see it. Good morning, but good morning, besticles. Good evening, besticles. It is 12:30 a.m. roundabout, and we're just going to have a little chat because I'm. 
bored. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I'm supposed to be studying for my exam. A uh, take home test on Monday, right? And um, I just wanted to take a break. I am not good at studying, so I really shouldn't be taking a break. TBH. I still have uh, six weeks of lectures to catch up on alongside additional readings. So I only have, I guess, like until I go to sleep today and tomorrow, and then it'll be the test on Monday. And unfortunately, it's a it's a it's an open book test, and it's the kind that's like open for twenty four hours. So that's probably why I'm not too stressed out about it because like it's open book, and um, I'm cocky, and I don't think I need to study, but I do. But I we're gonna take a break because I don't know. I want to talk, and I don't even know what I want to talk about really. Uh oh, okay. Um, what I did today, I woke up very late. I woke up really really late. And then what did I do after that? I, I did some studying and then I exercised a little bit, took a shower, did my skincare, uh, and obviously all alongside it I was doing a lot of my usual collage bullshit and man it's hard because that's the only way to kind of like keep my you know attention from slipping away. I don't really know how it happens but I don't purposefully set out to sabotage myself let's get that straight you know I don't when I sit down to do a lecture I don't want to distract myself I don't do that on purpose it just seems that my hands have a mind of their own my mind has a mind of its own and it's like it acts on its own terms and that can be a bit frustrating especially when you're trying to study but I've just tried to try and learn to roll with the punches I think the last time I had like a, sh a sit down chatty chat thingy was when I was still working on still working on my geography 342 assignment which I have submitted thank goodness uh, I submitted it oh my god it's only su I submitted it last night that's so funny it feels like it's so far away but maybe that's the time blindness love and so I submitted it on Friday night and it helped that I was actually, um, I had a call with my friend uh, afterwards, so uh, he gave me a time to start the call so that I could submit the assignment just half an hour before the deadline, I guess. Um, I did call my uh, lecturer for an extension because I was sick for, for like one week and I needed extra time on it. And it was a really quite difficult assignment to kind of do because there was so much of it that I didn't understand that on normal circumstances we would have been able to work on the assignment with tutors and in campus with appropriate technology and the assignment required you to go out into the field and like take observations and like stuff like that but instead we were at home quarantined and we kind of had to make the most of our circumstances so I like to think that if if things were different it wouldn't have taken me as long as it did to write the assignment because I was actually quite interested in it but as such I put it behind me anyway submitted it had a call with my friend that probably lasted like ages what time did I sleep last night I want to say four I think I slept at around 4 30 uh, oh I needed to write that down I've been really bad with I usually keep a since I have realized how much it helped me keep track of time I've begun to like do maybe I should show you I, I usually write out my activities throughout the day as it happens with like the time that it takes here's a little example um, you know like just because I needed to keep track of what I actually do in a day so I don't feel like shit when it's like 9 p.m. and I don't know what I did and I have to do that every day and now I would just realize that I didn't I haven't been doing that for the past week but I think it's because I've been so absorbed in like trying to get this assignment done that I've forgotten uh, but usually I do that and so that's why I don't know what time I slept last night but we and me and William my friend talked for ages so and I think since I slept so late I woke up late and then after that I don't remember but yeah um I've been avoiding my friend <laughs> I've been avoiding my message box my message inbox for like the past three days and I think I've got 12 message 
Yeah, I've got 14 messages in there that I don't want to look at. I don't know. Lockdown just does something funny to me. I'm usually quite extroverted and I usually love you know, talking to people and so then it, it's really weird then that when I'm forced to be inside, I actually feel the need to kind of retreat into myself and withdraw in further into myself than usual. It's strange. I feel like I have to examine that, but I don't want to. And yeah, um, right now I'm going to wrap up this little chat business and I'm going to figure out maybe like a video that I can work on in the meantime and stuff um, but because of being in lockdown I've found myself vlogging more and more and I find that such an interesting I guess progression that because I never really thought I would vlog I don't think my life is interesting enough or my thoughts are interesting enough but uh, here I am editing vlogs and I kind of don't want to do vlogs because I, what I really wanted to do when I set out to make this YouTube channel was to make like video essays and I feel like the more I do vlogs the less time I actually have to work on different video essays and the less time the, the, far, the farther away that goal marches away from me and that kind of makes me feel like I'm not reaching my full potential because I feel like I have a lot of ideas and I feel like I can articulate them to, an exer to a certain extent but because I feel like I'm self-sabotaging and holding myself back I don't really get to that point where I want to be where I feel like I could be and yeah I think that's also why I want to get um, I see what it's like to be medicated uh, for ADHD because I've been living like this for all my life and I kind of want to see if you know having medication to like balance out the the brain will actually make a difference or you know it's funny how I'm so sure that I have ADHD I'm pretty sure I do but I still like at this stage I still have to talk to the specialist and they still have to give me the official diagnosis and yeah I don't know sometimes I'm afraid when if I do get medication to help the ADHD that I would be very different or that all of my creativity will kind of bleed through because that's like I don't know part of the ADHD process so I am a bit scared of like what it'll do to me and like whether or not I'll be less vibrant or less of myself because of it but then I remember that it's hard to forget how it felt when I took so long to do this assignment and the frustration I had with myself I think if I just try to keep that at the forefront of my mind it will help me not dismiss or invalidate my own experiences because I feel like I brush all my symptoms off as if like oh yeah it's just like how I am and like usually that is the case but that that was a moment where I felt like this is something that I can't keep doing and I'm scared for next year because I'll be graduating hopefully I'll be graduating uh, next year because this is my final semester and I have to go find a job and alongside that job I'm gonna wanna I wanna do postgrad the stakes are a bit higher in my head and I'm scared that like I won't be able to keep up with I with how I am right now and who knows I mean like luckily you know New Zealand and the world are like slowly but surely getting to that place where more and more people are getting vaccinated and Definitely, there's a point in the year and uh, in time that we will all kind of be safe against COVID. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. But just like all these like snap lockdowns have made me realize that life is really unpredictable, and I'm scared that I have to have to do work in lockdown conditions, and I can't do that, as explained by the past. How many weeks has it been since we've been in lockdown? I don't know. I feel like I've wasted enough time, not waste, um, I feel like I've spent enough time talking so I'm gonna go and maybe clean up my computer and then I have to go back to studying again. I have stuff to read and I need to get good grades this semester so I can bump up my GPA so I can get into the postgraduate program. I don't know what's going on. I also need to steal myself up to 
reply to those messages because I yeah I guess I do have a tendency to avoid <laughs> my problems <laughs> I'm so quirky okay anyway So now that I've basically um, cut off a, a bunch of stuff up, I'm going to organize them into their respective little bag 